Welcome to the financial cockpit. What is a cockpit? You see here the cockpit of a big airplane. And even if you have a small airplane or a big airplane, some instruments are always the same. For instance, the speed instrument. How fast? I or the fuel how much fuel have I left in my tank or the variometer what is the vertical speed up or down or the altitude what is my altitude but also the compass. What is the direction I'm heading to? And also another one, the artificial horizon. How is my status? Am I like this or like this or in line with the horizon? These are all instruments in every cockpit of a plane. And the same is also in a management cockpit. I have a few instruments, you can find them in every company. What's the purpose of a manager's cockpit or of a cockpit? Let's go back to the plane. The plane has a targeted direction. That's the target of the plane. Is it the real situation? Never. The plane is always left, right, below, above the ideal track, the targeted um, direction. Why? Just because of sidewinds, because of upwinds, because of the engines are not working properly the same, left and right, whatever. Thousand reasons that you always have a deviation of the real situation to the targeted situation. And what will happen if you keep it like this? First, you will not reach your goal, your target. Second, you could smash into a mountain. Maybe you could fail. What is needed now? You need specialized instruments which are showing you the real situation. Hey, you're running out of gasoline. Hey, you are too far left, right, whatever. You are not on track. But that's not the whole truth or the whole story. To, to know where I am, oh, I'm too left, too far, is not enough. With now what? It needs action. What do I have to do? I have to react. I have to go back to the real track. So, to know where I am, the real situation, that's an important thing. But second, to react, to correct the deviation by the question, now what, is something different. And for instance, for the accountability, back to the company, the accountability shows you every single number, but maybe too late, maybe just after a year in the, in the balance sheet. So even if you have uh, accountability, maybe you need a specialized system like a financial planning system to show you the real situation and to enable you to react, to go back to the real track. Let's have a closer look to this specialized financial planning cockpit system. Let's go back to the manager's cockpit. We have seen that it needs elements, instruments for measuring the real situation and you will see you need steering elements. To measure the real situation you have a big range of instruments like the liquidity, 
the profit. How do you measure the profit? How do you see the real situation, the real track of your profit? Production costs, customer satisfaction. Yeah. How many complaints do you have by the customers? How do you treat these complaints? What is the competitor's activities? How do you analyze the competitor situation? or the order situation, how do you measure the order income or the working climate, are you losing workers because they ran out of motivation. These are all uh, measuring elements, but it's not enough again. You need to ask yourself now what? And you saw the picture before, the movie before, to see, to analyze the real situation and to see the determination is not enough. You need another instrument to go back on track. It's the steering wheel on the plane. To see the de determination is the compass maybe, but the instrument for reaction is the steering wheel of the pilot. So to change and to, to react needs different tools, different instruments. Let's have a look on these instruments. If you have an issue in working climate, maybe you uh, can um, determine early goals for your employees or you have maybe um, employees assessment or to improve the profit if you have a profit issue maybe you have to rethink your purchasing strategy or if you have too few orders income maybe you have to think about your marketing measures so as you can see the measuring instrument is not the same like the steering instrument. These are two different tools to measure the real situation and to go back on track needs different instruments and different tools. The flip chart before with the measure instruments and the steering elements was quite a little bit wild. I would like to arrange these measurement instruments into four groups. First, finances. This is the liquidity, the debitors, the creditors, but also the reserves, the profitability, the risk diversification, all that kind of questions. The production is also one a very important chapter. There we have the load factor, we have the wastage, do I am losing, uh, losing material or overtime? Um, how is the overtime developing? The innovation, do I have innovations or do I just copying other products? And also the process efficiency, these are the questions concerning production. Also, the stuff, um, the qualification. How do I measure the qualification of my employees or the work climate? How do I measure the work climate? It's a very important question. And also, the clients. How is turnover per client developing? What's about the benefit per client? How do I see that I'm losing or winning new clients? The claims or the customer satisfaction, how do I measure the customer satisfaction? These are all questions um, how to measure the real situation. And for a startup, it's not important to have every single instrument 
maybe for the finances the liquidity is the most important but also maybe the profitability in the production as a startup maybe it's the wastage or the overtime the stuff maybe as a as a new company you should um, work on the work climate to create a special specific culture of your company for the clients maybe you have to you should measure the turnover and the benefit per client not more if you're developing your company maybe new question will appear and you have maybe new questions to ask and you will see how can I measure the real situation and how can I get to the track just one thing if you use the Swiss Create Business Manager you have all these questions all these groups properly ready in the balance scorecard you can work with them for a monthly meeting for a weekly meeting whatever just use it it's one thing it's easy it's transparent you have it ready all over the world with your um, Internet Explorer and it's very um, fast understandable but I would like to invite you to a special specific uh, video concerning the balance scorecard in the Swiss Create Business Manager now to the financial cockpit the financial cockpit has six elements and I would like to treat these six elements shortly debitors, customers there your money is coming from how do you uh, analyze, how do you measure the real situation about your customers that should be a very important class, uh, question the profitability the profitability that's the food of your company without food you can survive maybe a month maybe two months but not more you must have you must work profitable otherwise you will not um, survive with your company but also the creditors the suppliers how do you measure this um, group, these partners? The risk diversification. How many risks do you have? Most important, just the most important. The risk um, which could break your neck if they will occur. The reserves, the reserves is the fat of your company. You can live without fat, but in a bad um, situation, you need um, reserves to survive for a longer period. How do you build the reserves? How do you measure them? How much do you need to survive for two, three, four months, whatever? I don't know. But this, this subject is very important for you. And the last, the liquidity. The liquidity is like the oxygen. With that oxygen, how long you can survive? Three minutes and then game over. So the liquidity, not, not just in the beginning, during the whole working life, is one of the most important um, subject to analyze and to treat as the most important question. Do I have enough money to survive? Do I have enough money to live and to pay my bills? So that's, these are the six most important elements of a financial cockpit. And back to Swiss Great uh, Business Manager, all these six instruments are built in, in this specific tool balance scorecard.